One of the reasons you're probably either using or evaluating Xamarin is because it allows you to write your core logic once in a familiar .NET language and then share it across all the popular mobile platforms. This means we fix bugs once, implement new features once, and reduce our maintenance and testable surfaces. However, architecting our applications properly to maximize our shareable code surface requires a bit of thought and design. The first thing to remember is that we'll always have some platform-specific code, even if it's just the host or head project used in Xamarin Forms. Here on this slide, we have a real example of some statistics taken from a published application written with Xamarin. The platform-specific code is shown here in red. On average, there will be anywhere from 15 to 30% of our project that's going to be platform-specific. This often includes the UI definition, particularly if you're not using Xamarin Forms, controller code to get from the UI into our core logic, and then any platform-specific services that are necessary to run our application. Sharing is good, so what can we share? Generally speaking, anytime you write a method which does not depend on the platform, you can potentially share it. This includes your business or processing logic, parsing operations, web service access code, database work, and even working with asynchronous tasks. Notice how none of these are tied to platform operations. They all depend primarily on core .NET features that are usable no matter what type of application you're building. For example, developers often ask how to share the backgrounding or tombstone code between iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. The answer is, you really don't want to share that code which deals directly with these things because it's platform specific and quite different for every operating system. However, you can certainly share the work you do in those states. You place the operations you want to perform, such as downloading updates from a web service or updating a local database into your shared code area, and then invoke that logic from the platform code which is unique to iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. A good rule of thumb is if you find yourself repeating some code in another platform, look to see if you can write it in a way that doesn't depend on the platform, or use one of the techniques that I'm going to show you in this class to abstract away the platform-specific requirement so then you can move that code into something that's written only once. The opposite's also true. Anytime you're accessing things which are unique to a platform or device, for example, you want to call .NET APIs which aren't available on every platform, or you want to access some system information that's unique to the platform, then you're likely going to have to use some platform-specific code. If you're only going to use it in that platform code, then it's a pretty easy task. You just call the API in your platform project where you need it. But if you want to call this API from your shared code, which is often the case, then you're going to need to get or provide some kind of abstraction over the API. Thank you.